Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. Today we're going to run through four new Kaiser knives, or at least there are four new versions of Kaiser knives, and three of them are El Primo! Woo -hoo, wow! Would you look at this Raffir scale? Holy moly! And look at this Raffir scale! Raffir? Raffir? R-A-F-F-I-R? And these are some sweet looking additions. This is the newest version of the Beglider button lock and oh my goodness, would you look at it? Just look at it! <laughs> these scales just, they are a whole nother ball game compared, you know, compared to the previous version, which I have, and I do have a collection of the bag lighters. Love the bag lighters. The action is superb. I have videos. All the knives you're going to see in this video, except one of them, I have videos on that you can refer to for disassemblies and things like that. But this is the satin uh, micarta, and this is the new Raffir. Raffir? I don't know. I, I haven't decided how I'm going to say it yet. But this Raffir, Raffir, <laughs> it is really sweet. So it's a it's a resin. Some kind of bonded resin, and on the inside, those lines right there, if I can hold tight, are copper. Give you a little bit of texture vision. Now, as far as texture, it does have a slight bit of texture. It's hard to describe. Almost like a light sandpapery feel, just barely. But it does, it does have a little bit of grip, and I am noticing that I can kind of tell where that copper is. I can kind of feel it, just barely. And I think maybe that's what I'm feeling. And just a couple of the spots, like right here when I run my finger across, I can kind of tell where that copper is. It's not a bad feeling. It's good. I like it. It gives it a little bit of texture. And something else I've noticed that I haven't seen any of these that look exactly the same. So they may be all a UniQ pattern. You might be UniQ with all of them. And something else is this is S35VN, whereas the original version of the button lock is 154CM. And another thing I noticed is if you look here, um, it has a deep carry pocket clip, and the pocket clip is adjustable. You can have it deeper carry or less deeper, uh, depending on your preference. But on the original, in my right hand, you can see that the pocket clip sits on top of the scales, whereas the left one, they are inset. And you can see right there where they're inset. And because of this, uh, it's kind of like a camo look. Because of this look, you can't even really see or notice the cutout, which is very nice. It still has the same awesome action as the original. I mean, this is this is a gem, absolutely a gem. You can't go wrong with a with a bag lighter. You can reverse flick it. This is a great EDC, great everyday carry knife. It doesn't take up a lot of room, a lot of real estate in your pocket. It has excellent jimping. Look at this, the jimping, which is wonderful. Goes all the way out to here. So you have plenty of room when you, when you put your thumb out. You are locked in. You have a great grip. Again, you can also check out some of my other videos on the on the bag lighter. I have probably two, three, maybe four. I have different videos of, of versions. I have the versions that's not the button lock. I really love the button lock. I also love the button lock with the Tanto. Oh, yeah, that one's awesome. But let's go to the next one. This is the Sheepdog Mini. Oh, yeah, look at it. Just look at it. And see, it's the same type deal. I don't have to over describe or go back over what, you know, what it's made out of, but just giving you a good look, nice close look at this bad boy. And something else that's primo. And like I said, these are kind of like a premium version. Kaiser stepped it up a notch with these. And this one, you get the S35VN blade steel. Here's this side. And Kaiser has a lot of different knives where you have different options, but I don't think any of them have more options than the Sheepdog Mini or the Mini Sheepdog, however you want to say it. Look at that, S35VN and this one, you, you could get them, look, I mean, they have them with flipper tabs, non-flipper tabs, removable flipper tabs, and 154CM, all kinds of different blade steels. Wow, would you look at that. <laughs> that is, whoo, mama. You talk about Primo and S35, Wow, I love the edge. It is so grabby. I can feel it just wanting to grab my skin. It is it is very grippy. It has a grippy edge, and I do love it. Um, I also, just to show you a comparison, here is the one with the Rich Light, and this one's 4V steel. There's the Rich Light, and then they have Micarta and G10, and they also have the uh, Double Detents. This one right here is one of the Double Detents. You don't have to unlock it. It has a strong Double Detent, but I love all of these. And it is nice to see a Primo version coming out. And here's something else with this one that if you look if you look at all the other ones, this is the pocket clip that you're going to get. Check out the pocket clip on this bad boy. Ho, ho, ho. Milled titanium. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, they, there's no holds barred on this bad boy. 
Whoo! Ceramic ball bearings, super snappy, and it has this little area up here where you know the size of my hands. If you watch my videos, I always describe it's four inches, three inches, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger, seven and a quarter. So back here, it's a three, it's a three finger knife, but they have this nice flat up here, which makes it perfect. I can get four full finger purchase on it and really get in it to win it. This is this is definitely one of my favorites. It's a small knife. It's like a fifth pock here. Fifth pock? It's a fifth pock. This sounds like a singer. <laughs> but it is a comfortable knife. It's an easy one to carry. It's a great secondary knife. But you know what? Let's go to the next one. This is another one of my favorite carries, the Kaiser PPY. Oh my goodness. I got to tell you this, if you want a smaller knife that's not small, I mean, as far as smaller, it doesn't take up a lot of real estate in the pocket. It's relatively slender this direction, but there's just enough, perfect enough handle for a good grip. And look here, you can see through the resin. This brass, the brass bolster goes underneath and that screw holds the brass, the brass bolster <laughs> to the scales or to the uh, liner rather. And this has the sh slightly shadow box look. I love that shadow box look going on, but look how attractive. There's that side and here's this side. And another thing I really like about the PPY is the blade. Yeah, look at that. It is just El Perfecto. And this one, I don't know if it got as much fanfare as it should have. I think it should have gotten more because it is such a comfortable EDC size knife. It is great in the hand. It fits so well. And look at this. Another example, they have the jimping going out farther. So if you're going to do a little bit of that business, a little bit of utility cutting, you're going to be good to go. It grabs your finger. Your finger's not going to slip. You have plenty of room to get your thumb out there. This is a very comfortable, very versatile knife. I love it. I love all of these Kaisers. And look at this. The action right out of the box. I mean, it is so smooth. Look at that. It drops just like the bed glider does. They, you know, Kaiser, that's, that's their hashtag is action for you. This isn't a Kaiser commercial, but I feel like it because I do, they, they are my favorite knives. I do love them. And that must be wise because I like the action of them. I like the ergos. I like the, the quality of them. And this one is a spectacular version of the PPY. Here's the original. This is what it looks like. So if you're watching this video and these knives, you're like, dude, that's a little out of my range. You also have the original version. If you're not aware of, you can go watch my, my other videos of the original. And I'm pretty sure I took this one apart too and showed you what it looked like on the inside. But I do love doing these comparisons of the Primo versions to see if I notice little nuances and little differences. This one's 154 CM and then you're getting the S35VN with this bad boy. And then I'm not really seeing any big differences on this side other than the printing of the PPY, I like that. They went smaller with it. You know me, I'm all about less branding, less uh, less stuff all over the blade. Very clean looking. Give you a look at this side. And I know Kaiser does sell titanium clips. I'm curious if that's something you could put on here if you wanted to go with the titanium clip option. But this is nice and easy in and out of the pocket. This one is not inset into the liner um, like the last one was, but very beautiful. And now last but not least, one that I got to check out many moons ago, and now Bees Blades has one. Are you ready? It's the Kaiser Sheepdog XL. <laughs> Would you look at it? Just look at it. This dude is a monster. <laughs> I love it. It fits so good in the hand. But can you can you tell the size of this knife compared to the size of my hand? Wow. Look at this. Now these these scales, uh, these are these are uh let me show you. They're just like the black scales. Here is the Sheepdog XL. Here is the Sheepdog, and here is the one you saw earlier, the Sheepdog Mini. <laughs> they, when they went from the Sheepdog to the XL, they did not play. And I have to tell you, this one, I got the handle one a long time ago. It was a different version. Now they have this. Now, if you notice, see how these scales are darker? That's because I've carried this one a lot. I've carried this one less, and I haven't carried this one. You can see that with time, just the oils of your skin will darken it. And I know some people like to cheat, or not cheat, but they prefer. You can use a couple different options to darken these right away. You can put a little bit of mineral oil, just rub it in, and it will get super dark, maybe even darker than this. But so far, I've never, uh, I don't, no, I've never used mineral oil. Oil. But oh my goodness, look at this. Let's take a quick look. I had to back out to make more room, but look at this. Super, super detent. Oh my goodness. And you can't get more drop shetty than that. With a blade like this, 
Yeah, <laughs> it is coming down without question. And I do prefer the one without, you can also get these with the flipper tab. My brother has one with the flipper tab. I got him for Christmas last year. He loves it. And the, the neat thing about this knife, even though it's so large, is the geometry is spectacular. Look how thin the blade is. You would think that, oh, that's going to be like an axe, but it actually slices very well. Look at this. See how, see how it comes down to a nice fine edge? It is not thick behind the edge whatsoever. I have many knives that are not even half this size that are way more thick behind the edge. And I love how this is elongated. I believe they call that the bean hole. But yeah, look at that. This, this thing is spectacular. The, the ergos, and you can also choke up on it. If you really want to get into something like do a little bit slicey, a little bitty, little bitty swing, swing, or in chopping. I've also done chopping with the sheepdog, and this one may very well have, I don't know, it has about, look at that, to be so big. This is the denim version. There are a bunch of different versions of the sheepdog, and look at that. It looks like it has the same, yeah, it does. It looks like it has about the same geometry, except for it's going to be even slicier because you have longer from the flat to the to behind the edge. So there are four new versions of a Kaiser Originals that, not the Kaiser Original, but original versions. And this one runs around 99. The Big Lighter's around 165. The PPY runs around 184. And the Sheepdog Mini is around 178. I'll put links in the description where you can get these or you, or the more budget-friendly options, depending on what your price range is. But I hope you enjoyed checking these out with me. They were a lot of fun. Make sure you go check out this video. You're going to enjoy that. But until I see you again or see you in the live streams or at the Hive stream on Friday, remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.